welcome to this week's Sunday Starter. My name is Johnny. It's brilliant to have you with us if you're part of our St George's uh, Kids family or if you're watching us for the first time today uh, or for any other reason from anywhere if you're watching with us on Sunday or later on uh, in the week. We hope that you will enjoy your experience with us today. Sunday Starters is our online teaching resource for children and families. We look at a different Bible topic or theme each week. Uh, we play some games, some craft ideas, some Bible stories, an opportunity uh, to just dig into a different theme. Uh, this term we're exploring something called Build Your Faith, where we're looking at uh, the different elements of our faith that help it grow, um, help it get stronger and help it bring us closer uh, to God. And today uh, we're exploring the theme of prayer. Uh, how and why should we pray? Now, if you have a look in the description below, you'll be able to uh, download um, a file, a link that will take you to the church website where you can download Sunday Starters Extra. That is a sheet that has some discussion questions and some other activities to think about with whoever you're watching with today. Um, you can do that after this session or you can do it throughout the week. But do have a look at that and explore some of those themes a little bit more. We've also got some worship ideas uh, and my contact details if you'd like to get in touch uh, with anything else related to this or any other resources that we have for children and for families. We are going to play a quick game to begin with. Now, prayer is all about talking to God. Uh, it's simply about how we communicate, how we talk to God. So our game today is based on thinking about all the different ways we can talk to somebody. Because there's actually loads if we stop to think about it. So I'm going to give you 20 seconds to see how many different types of communication you can think about. Think about all the different ways you could talk to or send a message to somebody else. The timer will come up on the screen. 20 seconds. Are you ready? Go. if we stop to think about it we can talk to somebody we can meet them in a park and we can have a conversation with them we could phone them up we could video call uh, we could send a text um, we could even so we could send a letter if we're on a holiday we could send a postcard um, if we think about in um, uh, in history we could um, uh, do Morse code where you'd send like special messages via Morse code. Um, you can send messages using flags. Boats sometimes use that. They hold up different flags that mean certain things. Um, some um, older cultures would send signals using smoke. Uh, they'd build a little fire and they'd, they'd send smoke signals. There are loads of different ways we can talk to someone, send a message to somebody. And prayer is the way that we talk to God. And the more we pray, the more we get to know God. Just like the more we talk to somebody, uh, the better we get to know them. The more we pray, the better we get to know to God. So we're going to look at our Bible passage uh, now. It's a short story uh, from uh, Luke's Gospel where Jesus uh, is with his disciples and his disciples, they want to know how do we pray? They say, how do we pray? So we're going to look at that now and then we will explore our memory verse for today, our one thing. I've got a really cool illustration to help us uh, learn about the power of prayer as well. Let's have a look at our Bible story first, then we'll uh, have a little bit of a chat about it together. Today's Bible story is from Luke 11 verses 1 to 4. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. 
Brilliant. So that means it's two minute talk time where we take our Bible story and we just think about it for two minutes and explore a few of the themes and a few of the ideas. So we'll bring our timer up and our two minutes will begin now. So, as I said, prayer uh, is really important. It's the way that we talk uh, to God. It's the way we communicate to God. And in our Bible story, the disciples, they say to Jesus, teach us to pray. Tell us how we should do that. And Jesus gives to them the first part of the Lord's prayer. And in that prayer, he gives us some things that we can pray for. So first of all, he says, Father, hallowed be your name, which basically just means the word hallowed means holy, uh, means special. So he's saying, actually, when we pray, we should acknowledge that God is good, God is mighty, God is powerful. We should remember um, how, how God is such a great God. Uh, then he says, um, your kingdom come, give us today our daily bread. So we can think about things that we need. We can pray to God, actually, um, I really need um, some confidence today. Or I really need your strength or your determination or your perseverance. Think about what's going on in our life that we need to ask God for. Um, then he says, uh, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation. So it's important in our prayers, sometimes we have to say sorry to God for the things that we perhaps do wrong. We all make mistakes sometimes. So it's important to learn how to say sorry to God. And then lead us not to temptation. We ask for God's protection. We say, help us um, as we go through our life and protect us from evil, protect us from things that will draw us away from you, keep us close to you. And it gives us a really short, simple idea um, of how prayers can help us. Pr uh, thanking God for who he is, asking for what we need, uh, saying sorry and asking for God's protection. It's such an important reminder of the importance of prayer. OK, that's our two minutes uh, up. Now we can explore a few more of those things. Um, first of all, in our one thing. So we always try and think about what's the one thing we want to remember and we want to think about. And that is that prayer is simply talking to God and that we can pray to God about anything, absolutely anything. The stuff that we're thankful for, the stuff we want to um, just, you know, thank God that the sun is out today. I've had a great day. Thank you for the food I have to eat, the clothes I have to wear, my family. Um, but to also think about when we're struggling, God is still there. When we find it hard to pray, it's still important to pray because God always hears our prayers. It's, as I said at the beginning, it's just about learning to talk to God in the same way that I'm talking to you now, the way that you would talk to your um, parents or your grandparents or your friends. It's just talking to God. That's all prayer is. And the more we do it, the closer to God we get. Uh, let's have a look at our memory verse to today, for today. Uh, now, it's in the book of uh, Philippians, which is in the New Testament towards the back of the Bible. It's Philipp uh, Philippians chapter 4, uh, verse 6. It's a really important reminder about prayer. It says, uh, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, which just means asking God for things, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. It's about a reminder that says we, we don't need to be anxious or worried about anything uh, because we can pray. Uh, and it just says, come to God with uh, thanksgiving, present your requests, the things that we need, uh, and just come to God whenever we're feeling happy, sad, no matter how we're feeling, we can just say to uh, come to God in prayer. And we could do that by... Uh, being quiet, being still. We can do that out on a walk. You might keep a little prayer diary, draw pictures or write down the things um, that you want to pray for. Loads of different ways that we can do that. And we, we should believe that prayer works. That God answers our prayer. He might not answer it in the way that we perhaps think, but God always hears our prayer and God, our prayers can be really powerful. Now, I've got a little illustration to show you this. Let me just grab something. Um, because you can try this at home, actually. You just need a match. Now, we've got to be careful around um, matches, but this is just going to show us the importance of prayer. Now, you're going to take your hand and hold it out flat like this. And this represents us doing our life 
our way. Uh, and then if we fold it flat, fold our, our hands, our fingers down, that's going to represent doing things God, God's way. So that's our way, that's God's way. Now, if you want to try this at home, you're going to take the match and you need to put it in between your, um, so it's resting on your middle finger. Can you see that? So it's resting on my middle finger and then I've got my ring finger and my index finger on top of the match. Okay? Now, remember, our flat hand uh, is a symbol of doing things our way. Now, what you want to try and do is you want to try and break that match. Now, without bending any of your fingers and bending any of your knuckles, now if you try and break it, I don't know if you can see, I am actually trying to break that by moving my fingers down, but if I keep them straight, I can't do it. It doesn't work. But if I bend them, it breaks. And that's a really little, if we imagine that that matchstick is something that we're really struggling with, if we try and do it our way, it's really hard. It's a real struggle. But once we do it God's way and we pray about it and we ask God to help us, things happen. And prayer is a powerful tool for us in our faith. Now, if you download your uh, Sunday Starter Extra Sheet, there are loads of creative ways to help you pray. Um, things like using bubbles, Lego bricks, loads of ways. We would love to see your photos or your pictures or videos of you trying some of those things out. It's just simple, simple ways to help you pray um, throughout the week. So do download that and do have a go um, at those. We'll be back next week for our next uh, session. Actually, I've just been, I've just reminded myself, next week is worship uh, for everyone which means that we take a break from Sunday Starters. So our service um, will be in church at 10.45. If you'd like to book a place, uh, you can do that. I'll pop the uh, email address in the description, or you can watch via our YouTube channel on our live stream if you're not ready to join in with us. Um, that's happening next week, so we'll be um, taking a little bit of a week break, and then we'll be back for our next Sunday Starter, which, if I remember rightly, is looking at the Bible. We start to think about how can the Bible help us grow and build our faith faith. Brilliant. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of the day, a brilliant week. Uh, if we don't see you next week, I'll worship everyone's service. We'll be back for Sunday starters in a couple of weeks' time. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.